Again tonight with the growing lawsuit and the horrifying crash that killed two kids at a birthday party in Monroe County. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford and I'm Mike Duffy. Survivors are now suing the boat club in addition to the suspected drunk driver, saying the business is partly responsible for the tragedy. This all comes as the suspect is out of jail on bond. The family previously telling us they are left with questions and feeling as if the system failed them. 7 News Detroit's Kimberly Craig has more on the victim's fight for justice. Attorneys for survivors of the deadly crash at the Swan Boat Club say not only was Marcella Chedister negligent that day, but also the Boat Club for not having barriers like these. It was described as a war zone. The attorney representing eight people injured in the horrific crash at the Swan Boat Club releasing these pictures of the aftermath. It happened during a children's birthday party at the Boat Club when 66-year-old Marcella Chedister allegedly drove drunk into the building at a high rate of speed, killing four-year-old Zane Phillips and his eight-year-old sister Alana. Now we got birthdays coming up and we still can't even spend it with them. They originally thought that a bomb had been planted and blew up, that this was some type of terrorist attack. Attorney John Marco had planned for some of those injured in the crash to speak at his press conference Wednesday, later saying it was just too much for them. Some of them can't even get into a car right now because they are so traumatized from what happened. They can't leave their house. Relatives of the children killed say their older brother, Jaden, still doesn't know that they're gone. I say he still don't know nothing. He's still in the hospital. He's doing somewhat better, but it's still some days to come. Based on our investigation and what we've seen, this was a dangerous setup out at the Swan Boat Club. And he says that's why not only is Marcella Chedister being sued, they've also added the Swan Boat Club as a defendant. If you're going to put a building directly in proximity to a road like that, there has to be some type of, of, uh, protection or basic construction. Just look at the pictures of the way that this building was set up. It looks like it was made by some Boy Scouts. 7 News has reached out to the Swan Boat Club, but so far they've not responded. Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. All right. Thank you so much, Kim.